Let's turn back the pages into the league's glorious past on NHL Now. On October 11th, 1924, the Boston Bruins and Montreal Maroons were both awarded NHL franchises for the princely sum of $15,000 each. Art Ross would be named the first coach and general manager of the Bruins, coming to Boston following an excellent playing career that predated the NHL. Ross was a rushing defenseman, the Bobby Orr of his day, decades before Orr would reinvent the position with the Bruins. But it was in management and on the drawing board that Ross is best known. He coached the Bruins on three separate occasions, winning the Stanley Cup three times as coach and or GM, an important figure in team management for three decades. As an inventor, Ross modified the goal net in the late 1920s. His model used virtually unchanged until 1984. He patented an improved puck, beveling its edges to reduce its bounce, and he was co-creator of the red line, which sped up the game. On October 13, 1947, the NHL staged its first All-Star game at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Proceeds from the game would help establish the NHL players' pension and savings plan, raising nearly $26,000 for the cause. An all-star team coached by the Montreal Canadiens' Dick Irvin included lines and defense pairings from five NHL teams facing coach Hap Day's Maple Leafs, the defending Stanley Cup champion. The Stars won 4-3 before a crowd of some 14,000 fans, but not without a few tense moments in their own dressing room. Montreal's Maurice Rocket Richard and Detroit's terrible Ted Lindsay, ferocious competitors and rivals, wouldn't even speak to each other no matter that for one night they were teammates. And Chicago's Bill Mozienko suffered a fractured ankle in a freak collision, stretchered to hospital, strangely grinning for a photographer as he left the arena. Mozienko would be put in a cast and miss the first 20 games of the regular season. And on October 15, 1955, two of the most famous brothers in NHL history both found the score sheet. Iconic Rocket Richard scored twice and his rookie kid brother Henri bagged his first NHL goal in a 4-1 home ice victory over the New York Rangers. The Richard brothers would be teammates on the Canadian Stanley Cup champion this season and the next four straight during Montreal's unprecedented run of five in a row. The Rocket would retire in 1960, having won eight Stanley Cup titles during his 18-season career. Henri, 15 years the junior of Maurice, was just getting warmed up though on his way to an NHL record 11 championships during 19 plus seasons, the most won by a player in cup history. Both would serve as Canadians captains on their way to the Hockey Hall of Fame. And unlike Ted Lindsay, the Rocket at least did speak to his brother. I hope you've enjoyed this short walk back into NHL history on NHL Now. See you next Thursday with more from the league's glorious, rich, fascinating history.